Hi everyone, welcome back. So we've been talking about water and water animals and all those exciting things. I have something really exciting to show you. I have some seashells for you to look at and I've been reading some different things about shells. They're very, very interesting. So I'm gonna turn the camera and back it up a little bit so you can see. I This is so exciting. I found a bag of shells that I had found last summer in Florida. And so I cleaned them up and I laid them out here. And uh, we've been talking about classifying and sorting. So I thought one of the things we would do today is take a look at shells and their different characteristics. Those are things that we use when we're talking about sorting. Um, like when we were sorting animals and we sorted them by um, if they walk or if they swim and that kind of thing. Well, let's take a look at shells and see what some of the things are that we could look at when we're sorting. In other words, some are smooth and some have ridges. So that's just to give you an idea. But first I want to tell you some of the exciting things I learned about shells. So there's all different kinds and I'm going to hold the camera up so you can kind of see the whole group here. Um, so we have some that have ridges, okay, and these are um, bivalve shells. Some have ridges, some have stripes, some are solid color, some are, have stripes, some have dots, and I was reading about it, it said that um, the different colors, sometimes um, when they eat different things, it will make the shell a different color at that time when they were eating that. Um, also, it will make the um, shell, the different colors sometimes make the shells more durable. Um, then we have over here, smooth white shells, okay? The inside is shiny. The outside is not shiny. Whoops, there you go. Um, and I learned that too, that um, shells have different layers to them. So, for example, this, now this is a piece of a shell. You, I don't know if you can see the inside is real shiny. The outside is not. But look at the size of those ridges and those spikes. I have a feeling if we had that whole shell, it would be really, really big. Here's some tiny ones, little tiny cones. Those are called horn shells. These are all things I just discovered when I was reading about shells. See how it has stripes and it has a real sharp point and um, it's kind of like a rolled up thing there. And these are some pieces of shells that are also kind of a, a rolled up kind of thing there. So I'll show you that. So let's take a look at the shell. Here's another one with pieces that has different colors. Let's take a look at the shells and see what kinds of characteristics we could use if we wanted to sort them. So when I look over here, these are all solid colors. That means they're all one color, but these have what? Stripes. So we can separate by solid colors or striped. Okay, another thing, we've got some ridges and we've got some smooth. So the texture of the shell, we've got ridges. So if we wanted to separate our shells or sort them, we could sort them into ones with ridges and ones that are smooth. Okay, what about ones that are bivalve? I think this one's so pretty. Look at the pink color. This is right here where the hinge would be, where this shell, there would be another piece to it and it would open and close. These two pieces don't go together, but it kind of gives you an idea of how the shell would work. Let's see if I can show you. So it would be hooked together back here and it would open and close like this. So we have bivalve and we have horns. So we could separate them or sort them that way if we wanted to. There are other kinds of shells too, but I don't think I have any. 
Okay, some of our shells are, let's call them intact. They're not broken, they're all one piece. That's a really cool one, isn't it? And some are broken. Here's another broken one. This one you can kind of see the layers too. So some of them are intact. So if we wanted to sort them, we could sort them by ones that are intact and ones that are broken. So these are all characteristics we can look at with our shells. Oh, I wish we were at school. We would get our magnifier out and we would just really examine these. There are some really cool things to look at with these shells. Like I said, this one. Oh, I wonder how big it would be if we had the whole shell. Or some of them have holes in them. Hmm, I wonder how those holes got there. That is really, really interesting. Now, I want to show you this one. It has all these little, little, uh, I don't know, they almost look like little rooms inside. It almost looks like an apartment building for sea creatures. So here's the shell on the outside. On the inside has all these little chambers in there. Some have um, a big hole in the back, some do not. Some are small, that's another way we could classify. We have some shells that are small, we have some shells that are large, right? So there are all different ways that we can classify or sort all different characteristics or things about the shells. This one has very deep ridges. This one looks like a um, Ruffles potato chip, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't try to eat it. It has some things on the inside of it too. There are all kinds of ways we can classify or sort our shells. Um, if we were at school, we sure would be having a lot of fun doing that. This one's very rigid too. So I just wanted to give you a look at my shells and talk a little bit about what I learned about shells. You can look things up too uh, if you have any questions about the different kinds of shells. Maybe you have a collection kind of like mine. You can look at them. You can separate them different ways. I have the, I'll show you, I put the smooth ones over here and I put the solid color ones over here. I put the colorful ones, woo, in the middle. I put the broken ones up here. I put these cur curly ones down here and my horn ones are right here. So yeah, get your shells out and see what kind of different ways you can sort them and separate them and organize them and see what you can find out about shells uh, if you look them up on the internet. Okay, well, um, that's it for my shell collection for right now. We will see you later.